Hello everybody, Jester here, and welcome back to another episode of Star Wars The Old Republic, where we are back with Captain Zerotic Malice, but um, you probably can't see him on screen, and that is because, uh, be due to a lack of disk space, which I still don't know what is taking up one terabyte of disk space, um, I, well the fi file got corrupted, uh, Bandyfix couldn't fix it, it's not working in Sony Vegas, so... Uh, thankfully, it was only like five or six minutes that were lost. So here's the rest of the episode. Um, I explained what happened and what was missing. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoy. And I apologize for the abrupt start. This won't happen again. Have a nice day. Okay, so um, I had some trouble with uh, running out of disk space. On my computer, so I lost quite a bit of footage. Um, let's see. Uh, we went to the uh, cantina. We spoke to to Creek. Then we noticed a pleasant young lady getting harassed by some uh, big guys, and she turned out to be a Jedi. She killed all of them, and she said that she was hunting a Sith. Then she left, at, suggesting that the Force be with us. I don't know what she said. Then, Two Creek said that, um, apparently, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Diago Hickson's gang had been, been hit pretty hard. Uh, the lieutenant who got killed in here by Geonosians apparently had the only method of contacting Diago, which was a crate dragon tooth, which Diago killed himself, apparently. So... We've got to find the Crate Dragon Tooth while also keeping an eye out for Jedi and Sith. So, how lovely. Yeah, I know, I know, Boda. It's far too bloody. Too much, too many politics. Go on, come over here and then you can just die. Okay. Do this so that I can kill this Geonosian. There you go. So yeah, that's how I thought uh, we missed. So qu quite a bit, but you know, nothing to cry about. And apparently the great dragon tooth is in here. Well, I'm pleased Diago finally responded to my provocation. I was expecting a bit more. Yeah, that's the Sith. Is that absurd little trophy the reason Diago sent you? I don't... Uh, I'm not with Diago. Let's just be straight. I'm here on my own business, lady. You ran past the spice storehouses to fetch a bone. Interesting business. My name is Vavarone Zare. Yep. I'm interested in discussing a bargain with Diago Hickson. Uh, go ahead. Knock yourself out. The man is notoriously hard to reach. That's why I'm allowing you to speak with me. I've been prodding Diago for weeks. Raid a business here, kill a lieutenant there. It's like he hasn't noticed. I thought sending the Geonosians to raid this operation would surely draw him out. But all I've got is you. It did draw him out. Yeah, sure. Maybe Diago sent me here to kill you. You're adorable, but I'm not here to fight. I'm seeking a small crimson box. One curio of many in Diago's personal collection. I'll give him whatever he wants for the box. But I need to arrange a meeting. Can you do that? Is this a job interview? Are you looking to hire me? If you serve me, you serve yourself. For your assistance, you'll receive a gift few beings ever enjoy. The pleasure of my company. You'll be the only um, member of your species who experiences me as something besides a master. I offer the chance of a lifetime. Uh, All I ask is that you arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you're not my type. I'd really like to help you, truly, but I can't. As you wish. I hope you survive disappointing me. You took my gun! 
That was fun, but unnecessary. Now run along and reconsider my offer. Oh, you Until are we so meet again. lucky. You are lucky you returned my gun. <laughs> the last person who stole something from me, I've been chasing him across the galaxy for weeks. <sighs> Don't worry so much, Boda. Relax. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> <sighs> Bloody hell, too Greek. Bloody hell. See, this is why I stay away from the likes of Jedi and Sith. They're nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. There's literally nothing that they do that does not end in trouble. All I want is to live nice and peacefully in my five star mansion with. I don't know. Some huge retinue of, I don't know, Twi'lek dancers or something. Just retire nice and rich, comfortable, and just away from all the politics and laws and Sith and Jedi and all that junk. Is it really so much to ask? I want an appointment with Tukirik. It's okay, you can let me in. Speak of the devil, here he is. Oh. Ah, the crate dragon fang. I'm in perfect condition. I'm deeply impressed with how you handled those Geonosians, Captain. Remember that Sith we heard about? She controls the Geonosians, and she wants to meet Diago. The Sith is behind the attacks on our operation? How do you know? I was offered a deal. She promised a reward if I got her some face time with Diago. Sith don't honor their promises any more than Jedi tell good lies. Exactly. Let's hope that Jedi from my club puts the Sith out of our misery. We're going to an underground water well the natives call the Light Spring. The boss turned it into his private retreat. Now that we have the Fang, he'll let us into. Go! Oh! What now? Oh, God. What's going on? Kukri, the palace is under attack! Imperial commandos! The bloody sick! They're Sith. tearing us apart, breaching the security doors! <laughs> Diago will be furious if this palace falls to the Empire. Only one thing to do. Kill the Imperials and meet me at the Light Spring. What? You little twerp! You gonna leave me to clean this up? I'm not abandoning you. I just don't want to die. Oh my god, you're a coward. Good luck. See you at the light spring. Ah, for the love of... Fine. Where's... There you go. Come on. There you go, shotgun to the back. And you can take a blaster whip. There. Seriously? Oh my god, that Sith must have sent people to follow me. Ugh. Hello again. I, I was afraid you might have forgotten our agreement. I told you! So I sent some friends to jog your memory. <sighs> that wasn't necessary. Call off your attack dogs, lady. Gladly. All you have to do is honor your commitment. You promised to arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I want it. Now. <sighs> God. Ah! Fine. Fine. Ah! ah. You know, no, you're Sith! Never trust- I trust Sith as much as I trust Deveronians. Never! I'm through with you. Get lost. How can you reject me? Your brain must be diseased or something. I'm afraid I have no choice but to order my soldiers to kill you. There's just no reasoning with some people. Just try it. Where are your soldiers then, eh? Bring them on. Easily killed. 
On. Done. Come on. Get 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 around you bloody Egypt. Wait, where's where the hell are the There you go. And you can take that to the back then. There. No. As a Jedi. Whoa. You know, I'm keeping my weapon drawn just in case. What are you doing here? I saw the Imperial Commandos. Are you injured? Me? It'll take more than the Empire's finest to finish me off. Bravado makes poor armor. You're fortunate to be alive. I'm fine. I'm disappointed to see you in this place after our last conversation. I thought you'd learn to stop associating with criminals. Why are you here? <sighs> yeah. Give me your reason first. You following me, Jedi? I heard about this palace back at the club. I came hoping to find Bavaron Zare, but it seems I've just missed her. I don't suppose you'd know anything about my enemy's present whereabouts. <sighs> oh, damn it. You know what? <laughs> ah! No, well, I can, uh, I can hazard a guess. The crime lord she's after is at a cavern in the desert. It's called the Light Spring. Zare may already know about that place. There's no time to lose. Stay here. When I confront Zare, it will be a horrific battle. You won't want to be around. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The force be with us both. Farewell. I ain't just staying back. No chance. I ain't staying back for nobody. Here you go. And ooh. Apparently I got those as well. Nice. Right, so we're going to the light spring. Where is the light spring? I can probably travel to here to get there. Oh, mind you, can I? Mm. I'll just travel on foot. No point of risking it. Uh. That, uh, that... That Sith tried to have me killed. And she's and she touched my gun. She touched my vindicator. I ain't letting that slide. Nobody touches vindicator without my say so. No, 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 no. Especially not some uppity snobby Sith. Oh, I'm so irresistible. No man can ever resist me. Shut up. I've seen prettier ladies than at a hut family reunion. There's Diago stuff, and I'm going to have to guess that this great dragon skeleton is the ba his base of operations. Yes, it is. And just because you're in my way, scout droid, I'm going to have. To Don't you dip! I never gave you permission to do that, did I? Droid. Nobody freezes me or stuns me or whatever it is you did. And get a couple of punches in. There you go. Good going, Boda. That one's going away, apparently. You know what, let's just stealth it. Yeah, can't be bothered. Oh. And I'm level 30! 
But you know what? Just because we're one away. There you go. Perfect. Oh, and I got some not so nice wristbands. Ah, well. Right. I'm going to have to guess that the whole party is here. Almost. We've got Nario and Tukrik. Now another joins the Jedi to irritate me like sand flies. Is this how you serve, to Greek? Inept. Does he have the a... captain and I have business. We have nothing to do with this Jedi. Uh, you know what? She's with me. I invited the Jedi. She's a little stiff, but basically all right. You shouldn't have followed me. It isn't safe here. Ah, speak of the devil. She shall appear. Oh, you have no idea. Hello again. Forcing me to follow you through that blazing desert. Not your best move. <sighs> what can I say? It seemed like the right thing at the time. That chill creeping down your spine right now? It's regret. Surrender is your only option, Zare. You can't win. Empty chatter. Like fingernails on transparent steel. I will silence. Who is that? Captain, Alicia. haven't heard from you in a while. Everything all right? Eh, this is kind of a bad time. I'm kind of in the middle of something, Risha. <laughs> oh, beautiful girl. Oh, God. So beautiful. Wait, is that him? You're with Diago? Yep. <laughs> I want to see her again. Now! I can't. She uh, doesn't seem to be answering her hollow. Then bring her to me. She is mine. Diago, dear, I can offer you so much more. Just as soon as we rid ourselves of this Jedi. Afraid to fight me alone, Sith? Silence! The only voice here should be mine. Diago, you're every bit the monster Vavaron Zare is. You will both pay. You want to draw your weapon. You want to kill the Jedi. Is that supposed to work? I want to laugh at how silly you are. <laughs> Strong-minded, hmm? You're no use to me. Forgive me, dear Diago, but I really must kill these two before we continue. No more! I find a beautiful girl myself! Jeez. Right! <laughs> Kill <Please, laughs> everyone! Oh my god! There's just so much going on. But I didn't do anything! Everyone! God damn! There you go. Okay. No, no, we're killing the Sith first. Uh, no, we'll let. Ah, I should have let the Jedi and the Sith fight it out. Why am I so stupid? Ah, uh, okay. Kill the Sith with. There you go. Diago, you're next. Sorry. I didn't want it to go down like this, honest. There you go. Oh, oh what, do, what do we get? New scatter gun, which is a bit better actually. I'll take it. And that's actually pretty cool. I might keep that for my public trooper. Right, Nario, how are you? Not many can claim they battled a Sith and lived. You're in rare company. Uh, are you alright? You took some hits. Any of them leave a mark? My injuries will heal soon enough. I see now why Zare thought this box was worth killing over. Thank the Force we stopped her. What bo- what? Yeah, what is this? This is a Sith holocron. It oh. was created centuries ago by a powerful Dark Lord called Darth Nihilus. Never heard of him. Is Darth Nihilus guy famous for anything? He exterminated nearly every Jedi a few centuries ago. It took great effort for us to rebuild. Damn. I'll ensure this relic remains safely hidden from Zare's allies. The Empire must never access the terrible secrets contained here. My ship is waiting nearby. I should go. 
We have saved countless lives today. Yeah, it was fun. Let's do it again sometime. If you were a little more serious-minded, you'd make a fine Jedi. Goodbye. May the Force protect you. I wouldn't make a good Jedi, no. <laughs> uh, right. Wait, what happened to, um... What's his face? To Creek. I oh, probably hanging in some grate again. Right, finally! The thing we came here to get. It is sensor computer and we've got a hollow project as well. Drain. Nag Drain. That's all I hear. What was it like to fight Nag Drain? Uh, the next time some fool asks me that, I'll bury this hollow recording in his forehead and play it back for the survivors. Nog Drain was never a true gangster, not like me. He just pretended. People think I fought him because he was more successful. Because he made me number two. Because he stole my wife. Lies! I fought him because he was no more a gangster than I am a senator. Nog was a con artist. The whole underworld was his mark. He was using us for something. Don't know what. But I do know he never gave a damn about being king of the underworld. It was all just a game. At least that pile of filth is finally dead. I raided his storehouse just to be sure. He never came. I'm still alive and he's not. I won. You hear that knock? I won. Yeah, I think that kind of confirmed that he went mad. But now let's return to Risha. My word. Risha, we have returned and we have got the sensor computer. And we're that much closer to riches. Wasn't sure I'd see you alive again, much less with that sensor computer. How did you get it? Yago Hickson passed away unexpectedly. Left me a generous inheritance. <laughs> He's dead? Good. I mean, for your reputation. Sorry I didn't get a chance to chat with him before he died. My hollow malfunctioned. Diago was disappointed. That blob of a gangster took a real interest in you. I'm sure he reacts like that to all the beautiful girls. <laughs> with that sensor computer installed, this freighter will be a first-rate scout vessel. Nice. I'll patch it into the ship's rectenna before takeoff. You should notice a difference right away. What kind of difference? What exactly will that gizmo do for us? Let's just say people will have a hard time sneaking up on us in space. Let's leave this sandball in our rear thrusters, Captain. Nakdrayan's fortune is out there waiting for us. Yes! <sighs> Excuse moi. Okay then, next stop is Alderaan. But we shall... Okay, we shall actually do that in the set show, because we've got some conversations to have. First of all, Tariq, how you doing? Actually, whatever happened to Tukreek? Uh, he's probably back at his club or something. Or maybe he took over Diago's operations. How you Something's doing? Something's on your mind. What is it? I'm Maria, Yoda, Rokana, Kara, Rayam, Chechem, Vadukamia, Karechi, Akayam, Opakaya, Kimata, Samajikaba, Svaro, Dabaharo, Chikichi, Kokasa, Otomati. Why did they fear you? Did you do something to make your people be afraid? You got quite, quite a resolve there. You never quit, do you? I guess that's why we get along so well. Hey, don't count me out either. I don't know about the Republic. But the Empire's never gonna take me down. We'll spend our lives making those imps miserable. 
Hassan Siki Casa at Arabi to Jop. Yeah! Wicho V, ki se ka paksi kayaka sambalera ate pachi wicho pisio se ka tojaya karasun. Why am I so grumpy now? <laughs> Why did I just suddenly turn grumpy? Hell. He just he just said that he lived true to himself, then all of a sudden that offends me for some reason. <laughs> My word. Right, Bodar, how are you hang holding up? <laughs> now, you don't owe me anything, bud. That sounds like slavery. Or worse, marriage. No <laughs> thanks. You're a free man, but Is there something you need to be happier here? <laughs> We'll find a way to help them, Boda. Last but not least, Corso, how are you doing after that business with your cuz? Nothing worse than coming to the realization that your parents were right. Can't stop thinking about Rona. My folks always said she'd come to no good in the big city. And there she is, a stooge for some spice smugglers. She can turn it around. I think you got through to her. She won't be there forever. I wish I believed that. It's not like I didn't see it coming. Dr. Hope. I just didn't want to think that was really who Ron had fallen in with. That's what I get for trying to see the best in folks. Keep believing. If there's any good in this galaxy, you'll be the one to find it. I don't plan to stop giving anyone the benefit of the doubt. If I trust the wrong guy, maybe I get hurt. But if I'm too scared to help someone who really needs it, who knows how many people will suffer? Oh boy, oh boy. There you go. Now, now that's a good place to end off this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. And share this video with your friends to expand the royal court. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Jester, signing off. Thank you.